Debbie Miranda, and I'm your holistic health educator. And I want to talk to you today about being resilient. Yes, being resilient. Sometimes the stress in life can really um, challenge us. So I want to give you some tips on being resilient. Um, the first tip is um, really a tip that I found that um, I actually enjoy hearing because the late um, Kenneth Hagen, he said, we should let certain situations that, um, that um, the situations that really bother us, we should let them run off of us like water on a duck's back. <laughs> I always used to love to hear that. Um, and so the first tip is don't be as absorbent, be resilient. And a duck's back is very resilient to water because he can stay afloat because his feathers do not absorb water. And that is how we should be. We should not allow the things that, um, that really um, cause us to stress out to absorb into us. We should let them just run off our back, run off of us like water on a duck's back. Um, the next tip is like, it's so simple, but yet, we do not really adhere to this principle, and that is don't take life too serious. Yes, there are things in life we, we have to take seriously, and those are the things that we have to just uh, pray about and really um, go before God, um, you know, regarding those situations. But there are, things, there are times when everything in life we just take too seriously. And so we have to try not to take life too seriously. And we have to try to laugh more. And I want to give a couple of benefits of laughing. Laughing reduces heart disease. Laughing is a natural painkiller. And that is because um, we have in our bodies um, is something called endorphin. It is a natural painkiller that, um, that is released when we laugh. Um, and it also improves breathing. Laughing improves breathing. It also helps you lose weight. Now, I'm figuring this one um, is because when we have so much stress in our life, we have extra uh, hormone called cortisone, and cortisone retains fluid in our body. And so we, 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 um, we get excess weight because we have excess fluid. And so laughing helps lose weight. Also, um, laughing helps us to get a good sleep. And laughing decreases stress, of course. Laughing also helps you to look younger. Now, anything that would help me look younger, I'm all for it, as long as it's according to the Word of God. And so there are a lot of reasons that we, we really should laugh. Um, also, from a spiritual standpoint, we need to, um, to, to, to become resilient. We need to look up scriptures that pertain to the situation we are going to. Because when we look at the promises of God and stand and believe on those promises, it helps to increase our faith. And when we have increased faith, we have less stress. And so really paying uh, attention to the scripture that pertains us and meditating and confessing those scriptures help us to be resilient. Um, we have to also um, look at what God has brought us through in our past. And we need to confess and declare to the, our situation, this too shall pass. And when we do that, we can just go forth with confidence, knowing that God, because he's delivered us out of something in the past, he definitely will do the same in every current situation that we have. Also, uh, when we look at the body, um, things that will help us be resilient, the vitamin B complex is a anti-stress vitamin. It's similar to vitamin C because it is a, a water-soluble vitamin. And whatever your body don't use, it loses. But you know, you can't overdose on vitamin B. It is um, a, a, it, it increase um, the, um, uh, the activity of the adrenal glands because we suppress our adrenal glands when we're all stressed out and we overwork our adrenal glands. So vitamin B it really helps our adrenal gland. And so those are just some of the tips that I want to leave with you on being resilient. And so we have to um, 
Be like that tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in our season, and our leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever we do shall prosper. That is how God designed us to be. And I want to leave a scripture, um, and uh, many of you know the scripture. It is um, in Nehemiah, and the scripture is, um, it says, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them, for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord. Um, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We have to rely on the joy of the Lord, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Be blessed.